Hey book lovers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna and today I'm going to be doing the animal book tag. I was tagged by The Perks of Books. I will leave her channel linked down below if you're interested in checking that out. So let's get started because there are 10 questions in this tag and I don't want this video to be terribly long. So let's go. Question number one is an animal that only comes up for air, the whale. What is a book you only put down if you had to? I am choosing to go with To Kill a Mockingbird by Har Harper Lee. I read it for the first time this past summer and I loved it. I could not put it down. Question number two, beautiful but scary, The Lion. What is a great book that intimidated you at first? And I'm going to have to go with, it's a tag so I have to mention this book. I'm going with The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I was intimidated by this book at first because it is so long and it is an adult high fantasy, which I haven't read that much of. So, but I'm so glad I did because it's one of my favorite books ever now. Highly recommend. Question number three is every kid's favorite, The Goldfish. What is your favorite children's book or favorite book as a child? I obviously am going with The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I love it. It needs no explanation. I just think it's the best children's story ever. So, The Hobbit. Question number four. I've got a big head and little arms, the T-Rex. What is a book that's strong in some areas but weak in others? And I am choosing to go with Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. I read it last year, I think. Um, it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling set in ancient, ancient Greece, I want to say. And there's a lot of mytholo mythological elements to it. Um, I thought overall the story was really unique and fun. However, there were some very confusing moments throughout the story that I didn't really like as much. So I'm gonna go with Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. Question number five, spider, nope. Name a book you have no intention of going anywhere near. 50 Shades of Grey. Just gonna leave it at that. Question number six, the animal that repeats others, the mockingbird. What is your favorite adaptation or retelling? And I'm going with Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles and each of these books is a fairy tale retelling. The first one is Cinder, which is a Cinderella retelling. This is Scarlet, which is a retelling of Red Riding Hood or can slightly kind of Beauty and the Beast too. So obviously I really like it. Um, the third one is called Crest, and that's a Rapunzel retelling, and the fourth one is Winter, which is a Snow White retelling. Um, I highly recommend this series if you like sci-fi, fairy tale retellings, or even fantasy. Really fast-paced and really fun series. Question number seven, The Laughing Hyena. Name a book that kept you laughing. And I'm going with For the Love by Jen Hatmaker. This is a nonfiction Christian living book, and I loved it. I flew through it within a matter of a couple of days, I think. Hilarious. Um, she just has these little anecdotes throughout that are just so funny, and she's obsessed with Jimmy Fallon, so there are a lot of Jimmy Fallon, like the Tonight Show references. So For the Love is really funny. Number eight, Mama Bear. Name a book with a fierce female character. And I am going with Kelsey from The Queen of the Tearling. She is so cool. Like, I, okay, if you've read this book, the coronation scene, the coronation scene. If you haven't, you need to read it. But that is one of my favorite moments throughout this story is the fact of what happens in that scene and the fact that she just pushed through it and just, yeah. Yeah, the queen of the tearling, Kelsey's awesome. Name, oh, sorry, number nine, The Horrible Hateful Cat, a book you despise. And I'm going with a book that I mentioned in my last tag, and that is called The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. It is a kind of a backstory of the beast from Beauty and the Beast, and I did not like it. Um, I could go on about this one. I didn't think the writing was that great. It was very confusing, and I, there are a lot of things that happened that I don't think would have happened to, with some of these characters, so I just didn't like it. it. It is kind of a middle grade story, so I wasn't expecting much as far as elevated writing or things like that. I love middle grade, but anyway, I just didn't enjoy The Beast Within like 
at all. <laughs> and last question, number 10, man's best friend, the dog, a book by someone you know. I had to think long and hard about this one because I don't know very many authors at all. I wanna say, I think I just came up with one answer and she is the mother of one of my good friends through, from elementary, middle school, and high school, and she wrote a devotional book, a Christian devotional book, and it's, um, it's called Name Above, uh, Name Above All Names, and it's written by Beth Miller, and that is the only person, I think, that's written a book. So that's my answer for name a book by someone you know. So those are all of the questions for the animal book tag. Thank you to so thank you so much to Erica from the Perks of Books for tagging me. And I am going to tag Rowan from Row Books and Serena from A Wandering Mind. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are and happy reading. I will see you in my next video. Bye.